the dilemma I'm in my late 30s, single, in no children and I've never been in a long-term relationship. I have dated a bit over the years and I've tried online dating, but that has never led to anything meaningful. I do have sex sometimes, or spend some time with a man, often it's even nice but I can never be relaxed or be myself with men. I am the eldest of three and my parents used to have serious relationship problems. Over several years my dad regularly and loudly threatened to kill himself if my mum left him, he had extreme mood swings, and during these episodes he often confided in me about their sex life. Through sessions with a psychologist, I have come to the realization that a part of me is still in that room with my dad, being forced to listen to his crying and extremely intimate stories, too shocked to say anything, and those experiences have left me scared of being fully intimate with men, even now. I am trying to figure out what I can do to move on and take better care of my slightly wounded self. Mariella replies, I'm so sorry. As you can imagine, I get all kinds of stories in my mailbox and yet there are some that move me more than others. Yours is definitely in that category. The legacy of your father's self-indulgent and irresponsible behavior is clear to see and I wish I could feign surprise that it's embedded itself so deeply in your psyche. Human beings are capable of enormous selfishness, but there's always the lingering hope that they'll rein in their excesses for the sake of their children. In your case that certainly wasn't the case. A friend told me the other day that the coveted fashion label for urban youth, Supreme, has adopted the first line of Philip Larkin's famous poem This Be The Verse, They Fuck You Up Your Mum and Dad, for their latest collection. It seems to me a slightly obscene marriage of commercialism and poetry, but then again, the line between what it is and isn't acceptable to appropriate seems to have faded into a faint smudge. You could argue that since a tacky plastic earring with a logo on it is cool, once the word supreme is emblazoned on it, Philip Larkin may benefit by becoming the guru to a generation of skateboarders. Try not to fear vulnerability, in proportion it's what draws people toward us but beyond the question of taste, what's clear is that the connection between adult pain and childhood trauma is so well established that it has become the fodder of mainstream marketing campaigns. At the very least it should confirm for you how deeply affected you have been by your father's appalling emotional self-indulgence. For an adult to so abdicate his responsibilities and dump the weight of his self-pity and sexual dysfunctions onto the shoulders of his child is totally unforgivable, so it feels better to assume he wasn't in his right mind. You say in your longer letter that your parents are still together and that must make you feel worse, as though you've carried the weight of their unhappiness which they dumped on you at a vulnerable age and carried on. You've already taken some major steps by seeing a psychologist and recognizing where your problems in forming relationships may stem from. Now it's time to set your sights on the future, and in the absence of rocket fuel, I'd recommend a blast of cold, hard rage to propel you from victimhood to a more sustainable future. In particular you need to keep talking to your psychologist, but along with those hopefully healing sessions it's time to start simply challenging yourself to interact differently. You need to keep talking to anyone who'll listen, the point of a date is to see if there's a connection, after all. Try not to fear vulnerability, in proportion it's what draws people toward us. I've no doubt that to date every iota of your emotional intelligence has been employed in keeping you safe from repeating the past in your encounters. Now it's time to take a step into the unknown and see what transpires when you approach relationships with improved courage. There's no doubt that we are shaped in youth and shape-shifting in adulthood is achieved with great difficulty. You need to be strong, resolute and prepared to put yourself in the emotional firing line. There will be men like your father out there, but who better than you to spot them and swerve away from that danger? Whatever happens next is your choice and you absolutely can't change the status quo unless you're prepared to do things differently. Telling your father how angry you are with him might be part of the cure. He certainly doesn't need to be protected from such a confrontation and, if anything, it's long overdue. But if you keep looking backwards it's so much harder to find a way forward. Meaningful interaction and the possibility of a committed relationship come at the price of dropping your guard and taking opportunities. You know what you desire, you are more than capable of achieving it and you must try not to let the inappropriate and selfish indulgence of a flawed parent prove more than a bad start. I have an unsubstantiated inkling that your time has come. If you have a dilemma, send a brief email to mariella.frostrip at observer.co.uk. Follow her on Twitter at mariellaf1.